Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this session is Voltage Controlled Methods of Inverters. Let us talk about one application. Suppose inverter is used to control the speed of AC motor and certain load is connected to the motor. In such cases, in such applications, many times it is required to change to vary the output of inverter depending on the requirement there different voltage control methods are used from the exam point of view we may expect the generalized question like what are the different voltage control methods used for inverters so this chart gives the different methods used for controlling the voltage of inverter so First, first type is external control of AC output voltage. We know that in case of inverter, input is DC, output is AC. So first type is control uh, the AC output voltage externally. Second is external control of DC input voltage. Matlab jo input mein hum log DC apply kar rahe, usko control karna hai. Third is internal voltage control in which again there are two types. One is series inverter control. Second is PWM that is pulse width modulation control. So this chart gives different types of voltage controlled methods used for inverters. Now let us talk about first type that is external control of AC output voltage. This is the corresponding block diagram. We know that in case of inverter at the input side we are applying constant DC input. Output of inverter will be uh, AC voltage but we want to control this AC voltage so we have placed one extra block that is AC voltage controller this consists of this block consists of semiconducting devices semiconductors uh, and it has certain value of alpha alpha is the firing angle so if you change if you vary the value of firing angle then this voltage can be controlled rather AC voltage can be controlled which is the output of inverter and this controlled voltage is applied to the AC hold like induction motor so <clears throat> this is the block diagram which shows how externally we can control the AC output voltage the next technique is external control of DC input voltage we know that in case of inverter at the input side we are applying DC input and at the output we are getting the AC voltage so consider that we are making use of external control of DC input voltage and the available input available value at the input side is constant AC voltage then as shown in this uh, first diagram we are using one controlled rectifier as the name indicates it is the rectifier that means it converts this applied constant ac into dc and it is the controlled rectifier that means we can vary we can change the values then output of this controlled rectifier which is a variable output is applied to the filter just to remove out the ripples and then this is applied at the input of inverter so at the input we we are getting variable ac uh, and variable DC not AC variable DC which we can vary which we can adjust as per the requirement of application and at the output of inverter we are getting controlled AC output voltage if you don't want to use controlled rectifier then another option is use uncontrolled rectifier and connect one chopper so instead of this block we can use one uncontrolled rectifier then in series with that chopper and then filter and inverter but at the same thing next suppose the available input voltage is constant dc voltage we don't want constant we want the value of input to be varied to be changed depending on the requirement so that output of inverter will be changed so in that case, suppose as I said, we are applying, we, we have the availability of constant DC at the input side. We are using one chopper, then filter. So it will change the value according to the requirement. And this variable uh, DC is applied at the input of inverter. And at the output, we are again getting controlled AC voltage. So this is the external control of DC input voltage. Now we discussed uh, these two methods, especially in case of external control of DC input voltage. We discussed that the block diagram contains uh, the block of filter. So the circuit becomes expensive as well as efficiency of the circuit is reduced. Now the next third technique of voltage uh, controlling is internal voltage control. 
अगेन देर आर टू टाइप फर्स्ट इज सीरीज इन्वर्टर कंट्रोल सेकेंड इज पल्स विड मॉड्युलेशन विच इज पी डब्ल्यू एम एक्चुअली एज फार एज दिस पी डब्ल्यू एम टेक्निक ऑफ वोल्टेज कंट्रोल इज कंसर्न यू मे एक्सपेक्ट द सेपरेट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस पी डब्ल्यू एम टेक्निक सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट द सेपरेट वीडियो स्पेशली फॉर दिस पी डब्ल्यू एम टेक्निक प्रेजेंटली वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सीरीज इन्वर्टर कंट्रोल एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स let us say that we are using two inverters which are connected in series so <clears throat> here dc input is applied to both these inverters inverter 1 and inverter 2 this then we are using two transformers these are primary sides of each transformer secondary sides of the transformer are connected in series with each other and final output voltage final output voltage is v0 the output voltage of the secondary related to inverter 1 is v01 whereas output voltage at the secondary of inverter 2 I and mean, secondary of the transformer related to inverter 2 is v02 the final output voltage is obtained that means v0 bar this bar indicates it is a vector is actually vector addition of these two values that is v0 bar is v0 one bar plus v0 two bar so mathematically we can write the equation of output voltage like v0 is square root of v0 one square plus v0 two square plus 2 v0 1 v0 2 into cos phi because this is the vector addition now this angle phi is the firing angle related to the uh, devices semiconductor devices used in inverter which can be uh, changed which can be varied and accordingly the uh, <coughs> voltage controlling can be done as far as this inverters are concerned so this is about series inverter control jaise maine bataya pwm controlling ke alag techniques hai so i am i'm going to create the separate video related to this pwm technique now we will also cover the re remaining part in this video that is the uh, cross conduction so let us talk about this technique next an important con concept of cross conduction in inverters now what is this cross conduction as the name indicates cross conduction means simultaneously some devices are conducting for example if we are talking about half uh, controlled inverters then in that case we discuss that during half time interval that is 0 to t by 2 1 mosfet or 1 igpt this is 0 to t by 2 1 mosfet or 1 igpt is conducting so let us say 0 to t by 2 we are switching on mosfet m1 and from t by 2 to t we are switching on mosfet m2 at that time when we switched on mosfet m2 then mosfet m1 is switched off this is the ideal situation but in practical cases switching off of the device of particular mosfet let's say t by 2 to t me hum logo ko switching on karna hai m2 ko aur m1 should be switched off but this switching off action is not instantaneous action matlab ye instantly nahi hota hai it requires certain amount of time period so it may happen that you have applied gate pulse to mosfet m2 assuming that uh, m1 is switched off but m1 still remains on and simultaneously it may happen that both mosfets m1 and m2 are conducting in conduction mode for certain time period so in such ca cases this is this is the cross conduction case in such cases when both devices conduct simultaneously then the input which is applied which is the dc voltage applied at the inverter gets short circuited and it may damage the circuit so how to avoid this cross conduction one simplest technique is first observe that m1 is completely switched off then and then only apply the gate pulse to cause the switching on of m2 so we need to provide a delay between trailing edge trailing means decreasing edge so so if i will draw the diagram this particular edge is called a trailing edge so delay between trailing edge of outgoing device and leading edge of gate drive of input device matlab jaise jo mosfet hum logo ko on karna hai here will be applying leading edge gate pulse apply karenge this particular edge is called leading edge 
जो मॉस्पेट ऑफ करना है विल बी अप्लाइंग दिस टाइप ऑफ पल्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ट्रेलिंग और फॉलिंग एज सो देर शुड बी सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ डिले परपजली द डिले इज मेंटेन बिटवीन दिस ट्रेलिंग एंड फॉलिंग एज विच वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई टू द गेट ड्राइव ऑफ पर्टिकुलर मॉस्पेट जिसको ऑन करना है और ऑफ करना है सो इफ यू प्रोवाइड द डिले देन दिस इफेक्ट कैन बी अवॉइडेड दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड दिस पर्टिकुलर डिले इज कॉल्ड डेड time or dead band interval so by this way we can avoid the cross conductions in the inverter so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video